wait, wait, this is different. Hello? Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today I am finally back in Bloxburg after being gone from this game for over a month. But regarding that, today I'm finally checking out the brand new Bloxburg update before Bloxburg has another update. But first of all, let's go ahead and look at the patch notes. Hey Bloxburgers, get ready to celebrate with our event themed update. Whether you're planning a theater play with your friends, hosting epic debates, or organizing the most amazing music festival Bloxburg has ever seen, we've got everything you need with new event items, animations, and a P. Okay, so we do have some major changes here, it looks like. So they removed the ability to faint, they removed the hospital bills, which is absolutely amazing, and then they- Yes! Oh my gosh. They also removed the towing fee, which is absolutely amazing. I love that. So now I don't have to worry about my vehicle getting towed like every five minutes. Oh, I forget. Oh, yes. Okay, this is great. They also increased the job earnings. They also, oh, wait, what? Added public neighborhoods. Now it is even easier to find other players to join. Oh, that's really cool. <gasps> added voice chat oh my gosh that is chaos okay they also added event themed items including stage props podiums backdrops event tables and more they also added localization to the following languages next they also added some new emotes such as the courtesy and bow emote so that's gonna be really cool to play around with that'll be really good for like if you're doing stage performances they added oh wait what added a small new one wheel vehicle Oh my gosh, a wheelie wonder. A, oh, a unicycle, an X16 unicycle. Very cool. Oh, nice. They also added a skip all tutorial option, a fixed camera bug on console and minor bug fixes. That is absolutely amazing. And I am actually really excited to jump into build mode. And then also something that I just want to talk about really quick. So right here, as you guys can see from the official Welcome to Bloxburg Twitter account, it's pretty much what we just read about. And then down here, as you can see, it says sincerely Froggy Hops studio manager and game director. So for me, that is absolutely amazing to see that Froggy Hops is now in the, the game director director position. I'm really happy about that. But you know what? Enough dilly dallying with this, you guys. Let's go ahead and jump straight into build mode. First things first, you guys, let's take a look in what is new in build mode. Oh, oh, we actually got a couple of new things. Oh my gosh. I need to get my gardening skill. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I think the birch tree was already introduced in last update. What is this? A large stage lift. When a famous rock band or the entire school choir are making a surprise appearance at your show, a regular stage lift is hardly enough. You need something bigger, something stronger. You need the large stage lift. What in the world is this? It's $26,000, but I'm gonna buy it anyways. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. You actually have the hydraulic that will move everything. That's so cool. Okay, next we have a stage lift here. A singer slowly appearing on the stage from somewhere below, a performer who is suddenly high up in the sky, or maybe a hidden entrance to your secret lair. <gasps> Wait, what? A secret entrance. Ooh, that sounds like fun. The stage lift can be used for so many things. Oh, wow, that's tiny. Oh my gosh. That is, that is way smaller than this other one here. Oh my gosh. Okay, next we do have a Wheelie Wonder X16 here. Learning how to unicycle is actually easier than you think. Just make sure to wear a helmet and you'll be riding to work or school in style in no time. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look how small that is. Oh my gosh, wait, that's so tiny, but I love it. That's actually really cool. What is this? Is this like a bank teller window? Oh, a ticket booth window. A window where you can safely speak to customers and easily hand out tickets to your grand event or experience. Oh my gosh, I need a wall. Every single update video, I always need a wall. Oh, wait, I like this a lot because I remember in my Bloxburg water park that I built quite a long time ago, I was trying to recreate these type of windows here. So now I can actually add those in there. Oh, well, that's awesome. Although this is definitely no time for summer anymore. It is nearing spooky season, guys. Wall ivy. Greenery should exist in all dimensions, so give yourself a bit of extra with this wall ivory. Can be resized as well. Oh, all right, next here we have a campfire grill rack. Oh, this looks cool. While a big and fancy barbecue might give you the perfect sear, it's not exactly the most portable. The grill rack comes pre-installed with an open fire, takes up virtually no room, and gives you a priceless wilderness experience at no extra charge. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I actually remember this item being over in the Bloxburg campsite, but um, we actually never had that in build mode. So that's really nice to see that we have it now. I think that is everything new, by the way. Um, the bug net and the pile of wood here, all of this stuff was here originally. Yes, yes, it was. So now that we're done with that, you guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the new catalog log here. <gasps> oh my gosh, the decorate catalog has so much. Is that a green screen? Oh my gosh, look at all this new stuff. <gasps> There's still so much more. Oh, wait, actually, we got some old stuff in here, too. Is that a skull? A plastic skull? Hello? Why is this here? It's not Halloween yet. Wait a minute. Hello? I'm not complaining, but okay. First things first, we have a track theatrical ceiling spotlight. Let the light shine upon everyone. The most energetic performance with this tracking. Ceiling mounted spotlight. Grab the nearest microphone and rest assured you will never be out of the spotlight again. Oh, wait, is this actually going to track us on the stage? 
Oh, wait, I'm actually curious. Next here, we have a tracking theatrical wall spotlight of the light shining upon the most energetic. So the exact same description, but this one attaches to the wall versus this one attaching to the ceiling. What is this? Oh, a swinging gate. Oh, this is great. A gate that blocks access to your plot unless they pay the entrance fee. Perfect for your event or experience, base plot, or the exclusive VIP room in your attic. Wait, hello? <laughs> Wait, what? In my attic? Wait, what? Oh, look at this. Oh, I like this a lot. This is cool. Wait, I'm curious of how this works. Does it actually prevent people from going or can you literally just jump the gate? I wonder. Next, we have a credit card machine, a credit card terminal that allows customers to make you payments smaller and more sleek looking than a traditional cash register. Oh, okay. We're staying up to date with the modern technology. Very nice. Hold up. Let me put this on a nice little table here so we can get a better look at this. Ooh, actually, I actually really like that. Oh, look at that. You guys put your debit card in there. Ooh, lovely. Next up, we do have a metal frame barrier. These barriers are an excellent way to keep people where you want them and away from where you don't. Perfect for large events. Oh, that's cool. So that's actually like what you'd see on a stage. This is like if I put these, um, if I put these ones like right here. So yeah, there we go. That's usually like what you'd see at a concert or something. Next up, we do have a small backdrop here. Transform your small stage with this customizable and conveniently sized backdrop. Then roll it up in an instance with the press of a button. Ooh, transition seamlessly from scene to scene by placing multiple backdrops behind each other. <gasps> wait, what? Oh my gosh, wait, this is amazing. What is this? A tall backdrop? Wait, so we actually have like real backdrops like theater? <gasps> what is this one? A tall backdrop preset. Ooh, wait, so there's different presets here? Oh, <gasps> what? Okay, so we have a beach backdrop here. Bring your stage to the saltiest of coasts with this tall backdrop. Oh my gosh! Oh wow, that- oh! Wow! Okay, that is not what I was expecting. My voice is cracking, but okay. We have a bright forest here. We also have a desert scene here. And then we also have another forest scene. Very nice. And then we have a mountain scene. I will probably like the mountains the most, I'm guessing. Next up, we also have a tall backdrop. Okay, so it's just a regular backdrop, but it's super tall this time. So that makes sense. Um, oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. What else do we got here? We have grand backdrop presets. Why do I feel like these are going to be absolutely massive? Oh my gosh, they are. What? Oh, I'm broke. Okay, hold up. Wait, so I won't be able to buy all of them, unfortunately, but I will show you guys here. They all are exactly the same. Oh, wait, this is a new one. Sandy Mountains. Ooh, that's different. Am I too broke for this update? Do I need to go sell? I might need to go sell a plot. And we have a regular gram backdrop preset. Oh my gosh, that's massive. I don't know what that's going to be used for, but okay. Next up, we also have a stage prop boulder. A prop boulder can be a way to add an extra level of immersion to your theater place or a fun decoration in a themed room. Thanks to its low weight, it can easily be picked up and carried around. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay. I like that. Very cool. So it's not a full boulder, but it is a boulder. Oh, we have a stage prop tree. A prop tree for your theater plays or a way to spruce up your child's bedroom. Light enough to be picked up and moved by hand. Oh, oh, wow, wow, that is actually very tall. Where can I put this stuff, by the way? Because I don't want to block anything, but at the same time, I might have to block some stuff. All right, next up, we also have a microphone stand, a simple but robust, scalable microphone stand for when you need to keep your hands free for dancing or guitar strumming can be resized as well. Ooh, man, I wish I could put that on the stage, but I can't. Okay, then. Um, oh, wait, so how does this get resized exactly? Oh, just the height right here. Oh, okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like that. Next up, we also have a modular stage steps here. Steps to more easily get up on stage. Okay, oh wow, okay, there's actually quite a variety. <laughs> wait, those are tiny. Oh my gosh, wait, I actually thought that these steps would be a little bit bigger. Okay then, oh, and then you can like layer it like this, I think, right? You should be able to do it like this. All right, next up, we also have a modular stage component. Oh, wait, what? Wait, is this where you can build your own stage? Now you can finally build it. Oh, you can. Oh, <gasps> now you can finally build a proper stage. Can be resized as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a small modular stage section here. We have a small curtain modular stage section. So that's pretty cool. And the difference is dependent if you want to see the bottom or not see the bottom of the stage. Um, we also have a large module stage here. A longer piece for when you want to build a grander stage can be resized as well. <gasps> oh, I like how these all fit together. That's nice. And then we also have a curtain version of that too. Um, I only have $10,000, guys. I might need to go sell a plot, actually. And I even sold the other items, too, from the last update. Oh, my gosh. Excuse me, why is Tom here? Hello? Cardboard cutouts. Isn't a life-size cardboard Tom and Susan all you've been dreaming of? Well, now you can finally have them in your own room to watch over you or as interesting garden decor. You know what? Everything was fine until you... Why is Susan $1 less than Tom here? Oh, wait. 
Look at this. We actually get lore here. Susan Joyner is a hero to many. Thanks to this life-size cardboard cutout, you can see her every day from the moment you wake up. Susan Joyner. Oh, that's so strange. And then we also have a cardboard cutout Tom here. Get a Mayor Tom of your very own with this life-size cardboard cutout. Oh, very cool. I still find it so funny though, I'm not gonna lie, of why Tom and Susan are like a dollar difference. All right, next it looks like we have a modern podium here. Powerful speeches should be made behind a proper podium. The sharp modern design will look great in the pictures at your school graduation or your presidential inauguration. Oh my gosh, wow, what a perfect timing too, since November is coming up. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is cool. Oh wait, that's actually really neat. So there's two different microphones here, and there's also a paper here in pen, so that's really neat. I like that. That actually does give me like a graduation podium vibe. All right, we also have a classic looking podium here as well. A classic podium that would fit nicely in a city hall or school auditorium. There's no better place to rally the neighbors against the lack of speed limit signs or to hold the end of year speech. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Very nice. Yes, you know what? Here, we're going to have Tom here and we're going to have Susan, guys. Vote. <laughs> That looks too funny. Okay, and now for my favorite part out of this entire thing, a green screen. This is literally like my Elgato green screen behind me. I'm not even kidding. A small green screen. Set your social media pictures and videos wherever you want from wherever you want with this portable green screen. Who needs natural backgrounds when you can have endless fake ones? <laughs> <laughs> wow oh my gosh wait that is so funny i love that oh and we also have a large green screen here a photographer's studio isn't complete without a proper professional green screen all you need for large scale shoots can be resized as well this thing can be resized wait how oh okay well okay it doesn't expand out that much i thought it was going to go like a bit more but that's really cool oh i like that a lot okay so next up it looks like we also have feeder seats oh yes that's awesome oh my gosh yes that is so cool i love that we have a feeder seat here a feeder seat with an armrest on both sides to cap off the end of a row of chairs oh very cool Oh, wait, actually, where do I want to put this? Um, you know what? I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right here. Why not? I'll put it right in front of the stage. Okay, wait, let me get the other side. Oh, okay, wait, so you have a regular theater seat and then you can also have the left end theater seat, but usually, usually, uh, okay, yeah, that's how it works, I guess. Oh my gosh, we have theater curtains. Hello? Two stories tall and about twice as wide. This is just what you need for a big show or theater production. Oh my gosh. Oh! <gasps> Wait, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm, get, I'm getting so many ideas. I'm getting ideas right now. Oh, I need to move back my wall or something. I don't know. We have small theater curtains here. These curtains are two whole stories tall and just as wide. They could work perfectly for a large home theater or maybe a school auditorium. Oh, that is awesome. And it looks like we also got some different variations here as well. This one has a frame on the bottom, as you guys can see. Um, there's also, oh my, whoa. We also have these tall theater curtains here, which look absolutely amazing. Like, oh my gosh. But that is so tall. Is it really two stories in Bloxburg? Oh, it is. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. That's awesome. Oh, man, I'm broke. Okay, but we also have the Grand Theater curtains here. And then just so you guys can see. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yep, I know what I'm building one day. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go sell a plot really quick because I want to get some more money. Let me do this really quick. Let me just, uh, what was that? What is this button? What is this? Hello? What are these new buttons? Wait, so what is this button exactly? Oh, <gasps> wait, I can switch my houses like this? That is a best. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a really good feature. All right, let's get back into this, you guys. Okay, so I finally got some more money. I just sold one of my plots. Next up, we also have, oh, hobby horse obstacles. Build a fun hobby horse course with these adjustable multicolored obstacles. Are we going to be getting animals in Bloxburg? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Why would we have these? I mean, it's under baby and kids, so maybe that's the reason. Like, it's supposed to be for the kiddos to have fun with. But at the same time, that kind of makes me feel like we're going to have animals in Bloxburg. I don't know how the developers or how people would feel about that. As long as you can actually buy the animal you want and whatnot. Are they foreshadowing something? Or is this literally just supposed to be for kids and I'm completely overthinking this? Which may be the situation here. There is no way that we are getting horses in Bloxburg. That'd be pretty cool though. Oh no, here it is. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We have the hobby horses. It says, choose your seed wisely. Are you team horse or team unicorn? What? Wait, what does this description say? Right into the sunset on this majestic seed based on the famous horse from SF Furniture's book about Jonah the Knight. Oh my gosh, wait, this is based from Jonah the Knight. Oh my gosh, wait, is this right in the sky? Okay, yeah, same thing with the unicorn. 
Man, I thought we would actually have horses in Bloxburg, but I guess not. You know what? That makes sense. This 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 is better. All right, next up we have a handheld microphone. Unleash your hidden singing talents with this professional grade microphone. Ooh, very nice. I'm gonna put that right here so I do not lose it. Right next to the other microphone. Oh, okay. So now we're starting to get into some like fancy stuff here. Literally, <laughs> fancy floral arrangement. A beautiful arrangement of flowers that makes any table a little bit fancier. Ooh. Oh, I actually really do like those flowers. Okay, we also have a round event table here, a grand and elegant event table, perfect for a party, a big event, or even a gala. I have no clue what a gala, hold up, wait. Festive celebration, especially a public entertainment marking a special occasion. All right, next we also have a long event table, a long elegant event table, perfect for a party, a big event, or a gala as well. There's so much stuff, I don't know where to put anything, you guys. Next up, we do have these elegant event chairs. Add elegance and style to your event or dining room with these upholstered chairs. These cushion seats and large ribbon go perfectly with the event tables, but also look great by themselves. Oh, very cool. Oh, also, I like that this table can hold up to eight seats here as well. That is lovely. And then we also have the Chiavari chairs. So we have a simple yet elegant chair and a total classic for any big event. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I like it. I like when all these chairs are actually mixed matched together. That's really nice. Okay, very cool. I like this a lot. Okay, and I think that actually does wrap up this update portion for the decorate catalog. I'm excited for this. Okay, let's go take a look. So we do have these here. Um, oh, you can actually remove the poles? Wait, that's so cool. Oh, so they really are customizable. Oh my gosh, wait, that is awesome. This is gonna be so good for role plays as well. Hold up, wait, I need to get the unicorn, guys. I, I, <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh, look at me. Oh, wait, oh wait, I'm galloping. <laughs> wait oh my gosh the jump animation oh my goodness that's too funny oh my gosh i love that that is so good wait can i make it oh oh wait when you hit it it actually falls oh that is so cool and it regenerates as well that's so cool and then we also got the regular horse here as well if you guys do want the regular horse and not the unicorn oh that's so cool okay wait i want to look at the microphone here i can use this oh <gasps> am i saying what song am i singing I have no clue, but I'm singing a song, guys. I'm singing a song and I won't stop. All right, we also have this handheld one here as well. So, oh yeah, that's really cool. So I could actually be like, oh, wait, wait, the light just like locked on to me for a second. Is it really dependent if you're holding the microphone or not? Oh, wait, look at this. So if I'm holding the microphone, the spotlights just follow me wherever I go. That's so cool. Wait, what? My neighborhood? Huh? What is this? Hello? What? I'm so confused. Wait, where's the time? Oh, there's the time they changed it. Wait, save? Oh, wait, look at this though. Oh my gosh, that's cool. So if you had the microphone, the lights just follow you. Oh my gosh. Wow. The lights can follow you from a really far distance too, but there is like a certain proximity or like little radius of like where the light actually shines to. Wait, that is so cool. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I love this. This is so much fun. I'm having a blast with this. So while we're here, let's just go ahead and take a look at the My Neighborhood. So they did change everything up here. So we have a kick all button, which is nice. So if, if anyone is hosting events and you need to kick everyone from the server, we have allowed players here. That's where you can change everything here. Voice chat. No, toggling this feature requires a server restart. I am turning this on. This may be a bad or good idea. I don't know. Oh, wait, and I can change all the info. This is so cool. I love this. Event, social competition, building, hangout, skills, working. Wait, so if I change something here. Oh, oh, it does change. What? Building comp. Oh, that is so cool. This is too much fun. I love this. Oh, there's icons. Oh, this is amazing. I'm changing it. I'm changing this. I'm changing blue. Yes. Actually, no yellow yes oh my gosh i love this this is so cool save oh it may have just okay it just may have restarted the server hold up oh my gosh wait look at that the voice chat thing is above my head oh this is so cool guys look at this we actually have voice chat in blocksburg now this is actually be really fun for role plays because now we don't have to type all the time and be like hi okay so let's see what else do we have to check out here um, oh yeah, we have this little card reader here. Oh, I can take this? Wait, so I can walk around with this and have like people pay at the spot? Oh, that is so cool. I love that. Wait, so how does this guy work? Oh yeah, you can just jump over the fence. That's what I thought. Okay, very cool. <gasps> oh, but you can have it like open and close. That's so cool. Wait, I love that. Oh, that's amazing. Wait, did the tiller window just open? Oh, it did. Wait, look at this. You can close the window as well. Oh, wait, this is on the wrong side. Oh, that's so cool. So you actually do have... I thought this window was always open, but no, you actually have a little window here. So it adds to the realism factor too. Man, that is so, so cool. Oh, I love this. So good. I'm excited for this, you guys. I'm really excited to start like getting back into Bloxburg too. 
Okay, what can we do here? Can we... Oh, nice. You can roast a couple of things here. So we can roast bread, hot dog. We can just use it in general. Turn off the fire and roast some marshmallow. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is amazing. Oh, this is so great. Look at this. Wait, that is so cool. I love this. This is so funny. And you actually get to balance it too. I love that. Oh my gosh. Wait, so whenever you just run into the poles here, they just fall? Oh, that's so much fun. Okay, and then next we also do have these cardboard cutouts here as well. So oh, you can take these. Oh my gosh. Guys, do not worry. I have Mayor Tom. Mayor Tom is safe with me. I'm going to bring him into my house. Um, do not worry. All right, I'm just going to put Mayor Tom like right here. He's just going to live here now. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and we also do have this podium here. So how does this work? Oh my gosh, I literally look like I'm about to give a debate. We have uh, come to debate the... The, uh, uh, yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. That, that is all I had to say. Block burgers, yes. Um, lovely. Voice chat is great. Okay, so we have the little green screen down here as well, you guys. So, oh, we can take it. Oh my gosh, wait, we can move it around. Oh my gosh, wait, this is literally like my actual Elgato green screen. Hold up, wait, so if I open this up. Oh, that is so cool. Wait, this literally looks like my real green screen. Oh, this is amazing. Actually, no, this looks like the old Elgato green screen. Oh my gosh, hold up. Stop, I can close these? Oh my gosh, wait, that is so cool. Oh, but that is so cool. Oh, look at that. Wait, can you actually, oh, oh. So you actually cannot walk through the curtains. That is a really nice touch. Okay, and then we also do have, it looks like we have the buttons back here. Wait, what? Oh, that's awesome. So if I use this again, it'll bring it down. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. And you can also put your own pattern it on it too. And then we can also change the picture. <gasps> oh, oh, so that's what they mean by different landscapes. Oh, so we also have like all these ones too. Man, look at that. I love this. This is going to be really cool for like theater performances in Bloxburg. If anyone tries to make like an actual theater and has like a play going on, because you can change all of these scenes so easily, so quickly. I love it. I'm going to use this. I don't know how in the world I'm going to use this one right here. This dark forest, guys. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it somehow. And then we also do have... Which one is this? I actually didn't get to see. Oh, yeah, the mountains. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love this Bloxburg update. This might be one of my favorite Bloxburg updates. And then the last couple of things we have here are these like little hydraulic stage lifts as well. So, oh, well, actually, well, we have the chairs here. Yep, casual chair. Very normal. But yeah, let's check out these lifts here. Toggle lift. Oh! <gasps> What? I have an idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can have a secret elevator in Bloxburg. Also, I got this inspiration from Bram Pete because he also did this. I saw him do this for like his car. This is so cool. I love this. The amount of creativity you can do with this is just absolutely amazing. Oh gosh, my bills just got paid. Okay, well, we do have some brand new Blossburg emotes as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Um, I actually don't know where they are. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we have dramatic bow and curtsy. Okay, let's look at this. So dramatic bow. Oh, very nice. So it's a nice little theater bow. I love that. And then we also have the curtsy here as well. Oh, very nice. So that's definitely going to be used. I could see that being used for like um, fantasy theater performances or something like that. And then guys, we only really have one more thing to look at, which is the increased job earnings. I can't remember how the old pay was. It's like you would work for like a small amount of time, but it wasn't the best. So let's see. Let's see if delivery person's still good or not, because I know they increased the moped speed, which is something everyone was super happy about. But at the same time, the um, the shift earnings were pretty low. Okay, let's see. Yep, I remember this. Okay, so the efficiency has to get to, I think, 100 before you actually get your first pay. I need to remember that, that the pay is now based on two things, the efficiency and the speed of, of it as well. Oh, wait, no, I actually just went up to like 200 something. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Please do correct me in the comments if I am wrong, but I do feel like the pay actually has gotten better. Considering a minute for a thousand already with pizza delivery, I'm pretty sure I would have only made like maybe 500 or 600 within this time. So I think this is actually doing pretty well considering I'm only level 43 with 100% work experience. That's what it was, your work experience and your efficiency. That's what the money difference here. But yeah, it actually looks like the job earnings have been fixed, which honestly is absolutely amazing. Bloxburg devs, I'm sorry, whatever you guys did with the original pay, oh, it caused chaos in the entire community. It was not good at all. But yeah, look at this, guys. Only two minutes. I'm about um, almost like $4,000. So I'd say that's pretty good. I feel like they actually have increased the pay, and I am very happy about this because this means I can finally go back to delivering pizzas in Bloxburg. <gasps> what was that a butterfly? Hello? What is this? Wait, do I have a net? Huh. 
Wait, there's a butterfly. <gasps> what was that? Butterfly, a rare butterfly. Wait, what? I think this was actually added within the last Bloxburg update that we had, but look at this, I got a butterfly. Look at that, guys. About five minutes, 12, $13,000. Wow, that just went up even more. All right, then, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me finally being able to react and pretty much look at this brand new Bloxburg update. I know it's been such a long time and that I've been late to a lot of this stuff. And then on top of that, I'm also a bit late to the uh, upcoming Bloxburg, you know, teasers that we got. So, um... Yeah, trust me, I'm gonna be trying to stay on top of stuff, you guys. But I am super excited for this, you guys. This has been absolutely amazing. I'm having a blast. I feel like if I had to say one really good solid thing about this Bloxburg update is I feel like this Bloxburg update fixed Bloxburg and made the game super enjoyable once again. I'm having an absolute blast with this. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy this Bloxburg update. With that being said, I will see you guys all in the next one. Hi, everyone.